Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to give you guys a quick update on the 313th part 2 and what's going on with the film. So first off, I want to say something about how the film will be made. It will not be made as traditional stop motion animation. It will be made 3D with Blender. So if any of you guys have seen the other 3D animations I made on the channel, such as the John Wick movie, it will look like that. And I know this is probably not the greatest news for some people. They prefer the traditional look of real Lego stop motion. But for me, this will be much easier and I can make such a better film. Here's why. So first off, the set building. With 3D animation, since it's on the computer, you have unlimited amount of sets. You can do whatever you want. And I can just make the sets epic. Everything's so much easier to work with. I don't have to worry about bumping my hand on the camera. I don't have to worry about knocking over a character. I don't have to worry about knocking over anything, maybe the light flickering, all that stuff. And I can just have way more creative control over all these aspects, especially the camera placement. I can do much more with the cinematography aspect of it. I can put the camera wherever I want versus with Lego stop motion in real life. You have all these limitations with your set. And another really big reason I wanted to make it 3D animation for part 2 was I'm going to make the facial animations much better for this film and you'll see when it comes out. So overall it will just be way more easier for me. I can make such a better film if I make it with Blender and 3D animations. So you can check out my 3D animation tutorial to give you an idea of how it's going to be made. And if you want to see what the end result will look like you can check out the John Wick animation which I made. Hopefully lots of you will still be excited for the release of uh, the film part 2 whenever it will come out. When will it come out? So I've only made a few scenes already. It's not anywhere close to being done. It's going to take a very long time. The animation, it's similar to stop motion, but in many ways it could be even harder than regular stop motion. And when we get to the animation segment of our tutorial series, we can touch up on that and I can explain to you how animation works with 3D and Blender. So basically, this video I just wanted to say that it will not be traditional stop motion. It will be 3D animation and it will it's not very close at all so a bit of a disappointing update but good news is the film will be bigger it will be better the characters will be better I've rewritten the script I've made the storyline better I made the villain better I've made better ending so overall from where we started at to where we are now it's been a huge improvement and I just wanted to give you guys this update to get you guys excited about what's to come so that's my quick update video on part two hopefully you guys are Looking forward to when that comes out, whenever it is. It could be a very long time from now, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Sir, Gallic Outpost has just released probes as you ordered. The Jedi will be found in no Good. time. Notify me immediately once you have found something. I want to deal with this Jedi myself. Yes, sir. We are receiving a transmission from Lord Sidious. I will put it through. No. Don't put it through. I don't need to speak to him right now. Um... Uh, roger, roger.